One of the most destructive tree diseases is back in Denver. Dutch elm disease ravaged the urban canopy in the city in the 1970s, yet disappeared in 2011. But just last month, the aggressive tree killer was discovered yet again. Our Kelly Worthman joining us live now from Northeast Denver. And Kelly, that's the neighborhood where crews found this disease. Yes, Michael. In fact, this is an area where Dutch elm disease can really run rampant because there are so many American elm trees here along the parkway. This is 17th Parkway here in Denver. And get this, infected trees can wilt and die just within a few months. So not only would that be noticeable in this neighborhood, it could also prove problematic as this area does rely on these large shade trees. It's a fungal pathogen that can move through root grafts. It's not easy to see, but these massive American elms are at risk of a deadly disease spread within their roots and by pesky bark beetles. And those pests basically trap those fungal spores on their legs and they'll feed on your elm and that's how it really spreads. Dutch elm disease hasn't been seen in Denver in more than a decade until now, forcing the city to remove several elms along parkways recently. How does it come back? Now, that's a good question. Um, it's hard to say if it's remained in the soil. Um, we get an uh, excessive amount of moisture. How did that revamp? Um, but that's, that's really unknown uh, to exactly why. Once a tree is infected, it can't be treated. It has to be removed. So how can you tell if your elm tree has the disease? Arborist Taylor Judd says, look at the top leaves. It looks like early fall color. Let's say early spring, summer. Um, you will actually see early fall color. That's an indicator. Judd says the disease can even spread to trees some 40 feet apart. So it's important to act quickly to not only protect these elms, but also the neighborhood, as many homes don't have air conditioning. They're relying on their tree canopy uh, to cool their house. Um, you know, even if you have a swamp cooler when it's in the 90s, I mean, having some shade just helps out a lot. Some of these trees are historic. I mean, 80 plus year old American elms, um, and we, we'd hate to see them go. We'd all hate to see them go. This is a really big part of our urban canopy. And Judd told, tells me that we really might not even know the extent of this disease here in this area until next year. So that's something they're definitely keeping an eye on. And if you have a question about Dutch elm disease, you really should reach out to an arborist. That's probably your best bet, again, as prevention is key. Reporting live in Denver, I'm Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. And Kelly, thank you so much.